It was particularly meaningful to me that our company chose Atlanta uh, to do the three-day walk for Susan G. Komen. And Edelman uh, had a team of individuals from all over the United States. And we came in number one as the number one fundraiser, raising about $77,000. One thing that they've done that's been special to me, and I think many others in the company, is the community grant program. I've been working for probably eight or nine years now with a group called Special Equestrians of Georgia. It's a nonprofit therapeutic equine assisted uh, riding facility in Alpharetta, Georgia. Basically what that means is we help both children and adults with mental and physical disabilities to ride and work with horses as a form of therapy. So our grant in particular helps support our two minis, Sam and Cappy, as they go to places like Children's Health Care of Atlanta and other special events all around. Town. Well, over the past 60 years, Edelman has made great strides to do a lot of interesting work in the diversity and inclusion space. This year, Edelman implemented the Edelman Newhouse Diversity Internship Program, which was a phenomenal partnership between Edelman and Syracuse University's Newhouse School of Communications. We partnered to give opportunities to uh, ethnic minorities so that they could have internship experiences in all of our U.S. offices on global accounts. And I can tell you it was an amazing summer, phenomenal students. The work that they produced was impeccable, and I believe that these students are going to help change the face of PR in the next year, in the next 10 years, in the next 60 years to come. For the past six years, Edelman's partnered with the Gateway Center, which is a nonprofit organization in Atlanta, which is focused on providing sustainable solutions to end chronic homelessness in the city. The one that we're most proud of and have received significant awards and achievements in is the work that we've done on the Gateway GIFT campaign. GIFT um, stands for Generating Involvement in Fundamental Transition. And so what we did was we reached out to our client contacts and we asked them to make a donation or to contribute and become engaged in ending chronic homelessness in the city. Through this initiative, we were able to raise $70,000 over a two-month period. This was more money than the Gateway Center had raised in over a year of their uh, funding campaign. Through the work that we've done with the Gateway Center, we hope that we not only encourage the community to become aware of the issue around homelessness and engage around the issue of homelessness, what we hope that we've done, and we've seen results about this, is we've caused a ripple effect. So we've seen that various individuals, various companies, various members of the government have taken what we've done and taken it a step further. Edelman was approached by the former mayor of Atlanta, Shirley Franklin, to help with an issue, a challenging issue that the city was facing. It was the commercial sexual exploitation of children in Atlanta. Our challenge as a communications agency was to step in and help build a consensus in the community and also raise awareness. Because of the Dear John campaign, laws in the state of Georgia were changed drastically. Sentencing fines against Johns increased from $50 to $10,000. There was a mandatory 10-year sentence that Johns had to now serve for being caught with a child prostitute. What started off as a local campaign in Atlanta really had a ripple effect throughout our community. Other cities began to turn to the Dear John campaign as a template for change in their community. In 2008, um, a brand new CEO had just been named to Imperial Sugar and he was touring the facility uh, when a combustible dust explosion occurred and the plant blew up. Um, and because of that, uh, 37 people were injured and uh, 14 people died. Um, Edelman was engaged to help the manage the communications and the crisis around that event. And I'll never forget one burn victim's uh, family uh, who asked who we were when we were on site um, holding a press conference at the Bur Burn Center. And we told them that we were with Edelman. And, and they said, oh, you're the, you're the firm that helps people. And they put Edelman in the same vein as the Red Cross and other organizations that were providing response because we were the ones that were communicating about shuttles, about the needs of the burn victims, about creating blankets that they were able to use in the hospitals. And, uh, and that moment stuck with me because it showed the ripple effect of the work that we have uh, with the companies that we work for. It's well beyond just public relations and putting out press releases and statements and preparing spokespeople.